making a very important list while my sister Polly is pretending to go to school. Just like me. Look, Mum. Mm. I'm Angelina and this is my pretend satchel. That's nice, Polly. Oops. I mean, Angelina. Mum, do you have some paper and a pencil, please? Here, use these. Thanks, Polly. You mean, thank you, Angelina. I'll get it! I'll get it! What's all the excitement about? It's Miss Mimi's birthday, Dad. Hi, Polly. Come on in. Miss Mimi's at school marking homework on Saturdays, isn't she? Mm-hmm. Until one o'clock. And then she walks right past the lunchtime theatre. That's where the surprise will be. Hurry! Everybody's here. Hello, Mrs. Mouseling. Hi. Hello, Hello children. children. Now I will be Polly again. Oh, good. I missed Polly. But this is still my pretend satchel. Lovely. <laughs> Would you mind taking some muffins into Angelina's friends, please? <laughs> Your muffins are so yummy. I made a list of what we need for the party. Does your list say we need a present? Of course. If we put all our money together, we can buy something really, really nice. Uh, is it okay if I stay here while you go shopping? I'm composing a song. Composing? <laughs> composing. Creating a song. I'm writing the music. <laughs> I like it. Thanks, but it's only the beginning. I still need to write the lyrics. Lyrics? Lyrics are the words to a song, like icing on a cake. <gasps> Speaking of cakes, did you put birthday cake on the list? Of course. Mum said she'll bake one. Oh, yay! <laughs> Hooray! Marco, don't you want to jump up and down and make squeaky noises too? Um, no, thank you. OK, maybe we can help you after we get Miss Mimi her present. I can contribute. Thanks, Marco. Bye, Mum. Be careful, girls. It's a very blustery day. Oh, I hope those beautiful slippers I saw at Twinkle Toes are still there. Oh, they're so amazing. Miss Mimi's going to love them. She really will. <gasps> this is the most wonderful present ever! Thank you. It was Angelina's idea. Angelina! 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 <gasps> huh? What? The lady in Twinkletoes said the slippers are made of satin and somebody sewed them <gasps> by hand. But we don't have enough money. But we need to get Miss Mimi a great present to show her how much we love her. We need a present and we don't have much time left. <gasps> Wait! Those ballet slippers were made by hand. And all of us have hands. We would just need some satin. Oh, Mum has satin in her sewing basket. We, we can, can make, make the, the slippers, slippers ourselves! ourselves. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that Marco's song? It is! It keeps popping into my head too! <laughs> <laughs> Mum, where's the thread and ribbons? In the sewing cupboard. And how long before Miss Mimi's party? An hour and a half. Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> I love your song, Marco. You're a wonderful composer. <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. Mouseling. Tutu instead. A tutu? Angelina, 
I forgot. Mum wanted you to know the cake's all done. <gasps> Miss Mimi's cake! Oh, I hope it's really big. Well, it's pretty, but I think it needs to be bigger. A lot bigger. We need a really big cake to go with our special birthday present. Vicky, help me make more cake. I'll help, I'll help. You can help me make the tutu. I can. Whoa! Add some more muffins. Squash them in. Can you please put a few more muffins in, Vicky? Thanks. And we'll need a lot of icing. Coming up. Sort of lost control. <gasps> uh oh. <gasps> oh. Whoops. <sighs> well, at least the slippers and the tutu will be nice. Oh, dear. Oh, no! What happened to the cake? What happened to the slipper? We cut it by mistake. <sighs> oh. What about the tutu? Uh, it oh. came out even worse. Oh, then we have to leave for the party in ten minutes. Um, I'll try and fix the slipper. I can help with the cake. I can lick the spoon. <laughs> And we can do a dance to my song while we work, Polly. We love you. Yes, we do. Oh, we love you. Huh? Wow, Angelina. Those lyrics are great for the song I'm writing. Somehow your music reminded me of Miss Mimi. <gasps> oh, Miss Mimi. There's still so much to do. Cake, gifts, decorations. We've got to put out balloons. There isn't even one balloon, not anywhere in this whole school. Well, I think we did a pretty good job using daisies as decorations. Miss Mimi does like flowers. <gasps> Look, the cake is here. Whoa. Angelina! Angelina! I ran out of fabric to fix the slipper. Now we don't even have a present. <gasps> Decorations, no cake, not a very good birthday party. <laughs> we can't have a birthday party without a cake. We could use my muffin as a cake. Thanks, Polly. Polly, what else is in that bag? Lots of things. It's my pretend satchel. Beautiful. Is someone having a party? Well, surprise! surprise! It's, it's a, a birthday, 
birthday party for you. <gasps> oh. Uh, here's your card. We drew it ourselves. <gasps> and here's your cake. Sort of. Um, there aren't any real presents. It all went wrong. <gasps> Wait a minute. Maybe there is a present after all. We couldn't buy you anything, but we do have something for you. Let's sing a song. On this your happy birthday won't take too long. Just one thing that we want to say, we love you. is the most wonderful gift in the world. What gift? Gifts don't have to be things you buy at a shop. Gifts can be songs or dances. Mm. <laughs> to be really good, all a gift needs is to have lots of love in it. <laughs> We'd like to bring a very special gift to you. And when we sing, and when we sing each and every word is true. We love you. Yes, we do. Oh, we love you. <laughs> I'm Angelina Ballerina. And I am really, truly happy because tonight is our school's Christmas dance showcase. You're up next, Angelina. This is our last rehearsal for the dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy. So, give it your all. Of course I will, Miss Mimi. Sugar Plum Fairy music comes from my absolute favourite Christmas ballet, The Nutcracker. Great rehearsal, everyone. Now, don't forget to bring a Christmas treat for the party after the show. I'll be bringing my homemade sugar plums, of course. Oh, great, yes. Yummy. I'll bring biscuits. Oh, and I can bring some cheese. My mum and I are going to make a gingerbread house. Mmm, sounds good. Marco, AJ, do you want to help us bake? Yes. That'll be cool. Good. We just need to pick up the ingredients first. Come on. <laughs> And a bag of raisins um, and four pints of milk. There, that's everything your mother said she needs. Thank you, Mrs Thimble. You're very welcome. Now, don't spill the milk. Here, help yourself to some candy canes to celebrate Christmas time. Wow! Candy canes are my favourite. Mine too. Mm. 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 Did 
Did you know the biggest candy cane ever made was over 58 feet tall? Very cool! I wish this were 58 feet tall. <laughs> I am so lucky to have three excellent helpers today. The gingerbread smells so good. Well, thanks to your hard work, we have a gingerbread house for the party. And a batch of gingerbread mouselings to enjoy later. <gasps> Wait, can we have a biscuit right now, please? Pretty please. Super duper extra pretty please. How can I say no to super duper extra pretty please? Enjoy. And good luck at the showcase tonight. <gasps> Aren't you going to have some? What? Oh, aren't you going to have some gingerbread, AJ? It looks really good, but would your mum mind if I have this apple instead? An apple? I try to eat more fruit than sweets, especially before a performance. Hmm. You're really not going to eat that? No. Okay, more for us. Mmm, mm. best tasting mittens ever. Mmm, scrumptious boots, too. Stuff full of good stuff. Me too. And I can't wait to dance in the show tonight. In fact, I think I'll do my dance right now. It's here, it's here, this magic time of year when the candles burn so bright. Surprise, surprise, just open up your eyes, see candy canes all red and white. Cake. Oh, so do I. It's really bad. Are you two okay? I think we ate too much. I feel awful. My stomach is really, really full. And it's almost time for the show. Oh, yes. We better hurry back to the school. Can you pair make it? Slow down, AJ. It hurts when I walk. Oh, no. I'd better go on ahead and tell Miss Mimi you're on your way. Feel better, you two. What happens if we don't feel better? Don't worry, I can always dance, no matter what. 
Angelina, Marco, there you are. AJ told me you weren't feeling well. I was getting worried you wouldn't show up. We made it, Miss Mimi. Just barely. Do you think you can still perform? Uh, I think so. Of course we can. Great. The dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy is up first. And remember, light and airy. Just like in rehearsal. Light and airy. Right. Okay. No. Oh, problem. The audience really enjoyed the Christmas showcase, even though two of our performers weren't at their best. Oh. Angelina and Marco, are you feeling any better? Mm. I do hope so. Now it's time for our Christmas party! Mm. I baked Christmas biscuits with my mum. And my dad made this Christmas pudding. Here's my mum's gingerbread house. But I can barely look at it now. Everything looks delicious, Glass. Let's all enjoy a little treat. Take it from us. A little treat is all you need. What's wrong? Aren't you too hungry? Not exactly. We're kind of the opposite of hungry. I know what might change your mind. A present from Mrs. Thimble. Come and have some candy canes. <laughs> I don't think I ever want to see another candy cane in my life. Me neither. And they used to be my favourite. Oh. Maybe. I'll have one next year. Yes, but just one. Merry Christmas, Marco. Merry Christmas, Angelina. I'm Angelina Ballerina. This week, we're doing a show for boy dancers. It's called Hip Hop Boys. I'm the director and Vicky is designing the set. One here, I think, and one here. Wow, Vicky! Are the boxes and bins there because it's an alleyway? Exactly! Hip-hop music came from the cities where people would dance in the streets and alleyways and anywhere they could. I see. So, what do you think? I absolutely, positively love it! Yes, I was hoping you would. Now, where are AJ and Marco? Don't stop, Marco! I'm just getting into my groove. Yes! AJ Mouse 
else is in the house. I'm just glad you're the leader, not me, AJ. You're a much better hip-hop dancer than I am. Here are my hip-hop boys. It's rehearsal time. Okay, music please. And AJ. Stupendous AJ. Now Marco. Marco? Marco? Marco, I need you on stage. Oh, can't I just drum along to the music instead? Marco, you promised you would be my backup dancer. <sighs> okay, Angelina. Okay, AJ, once again from the top. Music. Stop, please! I can drum hip-hop, but I can't dance hip-hop. Of course you can, Marco. You're a great dancer. I know you are. Totally! I promise I'll keep your moves simple. And anyway, everyone will be watching AJ, not you. That's right! AJ Mouse is going to be in the... House! Ah! AJ! Ow, ow, ow! Oh no! How much does it hurt? Not much. Ow! Except when I do that. You need to see the nurse straight away. Oh, I suppose this means I have to pull out of the show. What? Oh no! Sorry, Angelina. <sighs> it's okay. It's not your fault, AJ. I'll manage. Miss Mimi is asleep. <sighs> I don't blame her. Why is the show called Hip Hop Boys? if there are no boys dancing. Where are the dancers? <sighs> ow! Ow, ow! Ow! I think I'll manage. Somehow. I can't wait for your show, Angelina. I love hip-hop. I saw Vicky's set. It looks incredible. It is incredible. You don't sound very excited. What's wrong, Angelina? Hmm... Oh, no! AJ is your lead, isn't he? AJ was my lead. I don't know how I'm going to put on the show now. If we cancel, I can save some of the set to use another time. But Vicky, your set is stupendous and the hip-hop music is amazing and everyone is looking forward to the show. I don't want to cancel. But Angelina, what else can you do? <sighs> I don't know. I was really counting on AJ. No one could replace him. Unless... <gasps> Marco, I've got great news! You have? What? You are the new lead for my hip-hop show! Oh no! <laughs> No, thank you. If I'm the lead, everyone will be looking at me. And I can't dance nearly as well as AJ. 
You dance the lead, Angelina. I can't. The show is called Hip Hop Boys and I'm a girl. Oh, that's true. You'll be fine. AJ and I will both teach you. It'll just take lots of practice. Mm. Almost there. I just need that last bin. And we're all done. Coming, Vicky. <laughs> Careful, Alice. Whoa. Oh! Ah! I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay, Alice. We just need to stand them up again. And stand you up again. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Vicky. There. All done. It looks great, Vicky. Thanks, Alice. This is called a slip and slide move. I just hope Marco can learn all the moves in time for the show. I'm sure he will, Vicky. Angelina is a very good teacher. I know. But they don't have very long. Watch closely, Marco. The move goes out and up. And out and up and out and up and out and up. Relax. Your arms will naturally go with the move. If you say so. Yes! You've almost got it! That was probably just an easy one. Marco Mouse is in the house! OK, this move is a little trickier. It's called the one-two step. I love the one-two step. Right, left, right, left, left. Then back again. Left, right, left, and finish. Right, right. You try. Uh. That's OK. Take your time. Look. Right, left, right, left, left. Oh, I knew this would happen. I just can't do what AJ can do. Don't worry, we'll get it. The show isn't until this afternoon. Right, left, right, left, uh, left, right, left, uh. You missed a left and then two rights at the end. Oh. Have you got it yet? No. no. Oh. Um, you will. Showtime is any moment, so just keep trying. Angelina and everyone have been working so hard. This is going to be amazing. This is going to be a disaster. Everyone is here. Oh, poor Marco. I've never seen him so nervous. This is all my fault for insisting he should be my lead. He never gets nervous doing what he loves to do. I'd be much happier if I was drumming <gasps> instead. Maybe. Marco? What's Angelina planning? Whatever it is, she'd better hurry. The audience is waiting.
my friends and I are rehearsing the Cinderella Ballet by the Russian composer Provolinsky. Now remember, AJ, you're the prince arriving at the ball, so walk proudly. AJ makes a great prince. And with that beautiful tutu, you're the perfect Cinderella. Thank you. I couldn't wait to wear it, so I put it on for the rehearsal. Where on earth did you find it? Actually, it's a bit like the Cinderella story. <laughs> well, now I'm interested. Well, it all started when Holly and I were playing hide and seek in the attic just after we moved to our new house. <gasps> oh! Three, two, one. Ready or not, here I come. costume for ballerinas. I want a tutu too. This tutu isn't even mine. I just found it in this box. But I wish it did belong to me. Whose is it then? Good question. And how did it get in our attic? I don't know. Do you think it could be Mum's from when she was little? Let's go and ask her. Look at this tutu we found in the attic. We think it's Mum's. Hmm. Well, your mother is out running errands. You can ask her when she gets back. Polly, if this tutu is Mum's, wouldn't she have given it to us already? I suppose so. And if she was trying to hide it from us in the attic, she knows we'd find it sooner or later. Yes, we're good snoops. This tutu must have been someone else's. But whose? Wait a minute. Dad, didn't Mrs Thimble live in this house when she was a mouseling? Oh, yes, she did. Perhaps Mrs Thimble knows whom the tutu belonged to. Perhaps it's even hers. Let's go and ask her. Dad, we're going to Mrs Thimble's shop. Just make sure you're home for lunch at 12. That's when Mum will be back from her errands. We will, Dad. We'll be back at 12. On the dot. We didn't have much time, but we had to find out who the tutu belonged to. So, now the prince waltzes Cinderella across the stage. One, two, three. One, two, three. I see what you mean, Angelina. Your story is like Cinderella. Yes, finding the tutu is sort of like finding the glass slipper. And then looking for its real owner. And still make it home before the clock strikes 12. Exactly. So just listen to what happened next. Hi, Mr. Symbol. Hello! Well, hello, mouselings. Can we ask you a question? Certainly. Just give me a moment. I'm gathering items for an order that was placed over the phone. Polly, look at this. It's a picture of a ballerina. Not just any ballerina, Polly. Doesn't she look like someone we know? Mrs. Thimble? This tutu could be... Hers! I'm sure the tutu belonged to Mrs Thimble. She probably used to be a famous ballerina. 
A super famous ballerina. Why, Angelina, I just love your beautiful tutu. Isn't it your beautiful tutu? No, I've never owned a tutu like that. <laughs> I've never owned a tutu at all. But isn't this new in the photo? Actually, that's my sister, Mrs Nimble. She used to be quite the dancer. She looks just like you. We looked exactly alike. But I was never as nimble on my toes as her. Oh, oh. <laughs> See? If this tutu isn't Mrs Thimble's, then whose is it? Angelina, look at all those things. <gasps> Everything's hot pink, just like the tutu. Yes, those are the things I was gathering together for the phone order from Ms Mimi. <gasps> Miss Mimi? Yes, Miss Mimi just loves the colour pink. That's why she ordered these hot pink markers, this hot pink notebook, and this beautiful hot pink umbrella. Could the tutu be Miss Mimi's? But how did it get in our house? Let's ask her. Mrs Thimble, we can take those to Miss Mimi for you. That would be wonderful. Thank you, Angelina. We're going to find the tutu owner. Hooray! Soon, I hope, because it's almost 12 o'clock. Listen, Moslings. The waltz is getting faster, more intense. It's almost midnight. So, did the tutu belong to Miss Mimi? Well, remember in Cinderella, the prince has to try the slipper on lots and lots of mouselings. Yes, it takes him a long time to find the true owner. Exactly. Well, listen to what happened next. I found Miss Mimi in the dance studio. Hi, Miss Mimi. Hello. Hello, Mouselings. Mrs. Thimble said you'd be bringing me the things I ordered from the shop. Thank you very much. Um, we also brought something else. Oh, really? What? She's wearing it. What do you mean? My tutu. I mean, your tutu. It is yours, isn't it? Oh, Angelina, I didn't even notice the tutu. It's yours, yes? I was going to say it's beautiful. But no, it's not mine. I was so sure the tutu was Miss Mimi's, but it wasn't. It looked like our search was not over. It's not yours. Are you sure? I'm sure. I would definitely remember owning a tutu like that. Hmm. Then it must belong to someone else. But who? We were completely out of ideas. Now it is midnight. Hear how the music sounds like a ticking clock. Cinderella, it's time to go. Tutu belonged to Miss Mimi. So did we, and now we had to get home by 12. Just like Cinderella had to be home by midnight. Finish the story, Angelina. What happened next? Well, Polly and I had almost given up on finding the Tutu's owner. You made it home in time for lunch. Pea soup with cheese sandwiches. Uh, I thought you loved pea soup. It's not that, Dad. It's this tutu. What's wrong with it? 
I think it's rather pretty. It's stupendous! But we spent all morning trying to find the owner and we haven't even come close. Not even a teeny bit close. <sighs> um, I... I'm not sure what to tell you. If only you could tell us who used to own my tutu. Your tutu? Your tutu? Yes, that's mine from when I was a little mouseling. I took a few ballet classes, you know. But why were you hiding the tutu in the attic? Oh, it must have been in the box that Grandma just sent me. That's right. She said she was cleaning out her garage. And she found some of my old things. I haven't had a chance to look through the box yet. I expect you would have if you knew there was a special hot pink tutu in it. That's true. I would have given it to you right away. But then we wouldn't have had our adventure. Yes, we went all over. Looking for the owner of the tutu, even though it was our very own mum. The, the whole, whole time. time. <laughs> so that's how you got your tutu. I told you it was a good story. Positions, everyone. The show's about to start. And Cinderella gets to wear the best hot pink tutu ever. 